Hey guys, uh, Tommy here, and um, yeah, the recent few days I've been uh, saving up for a new mic, as you can guess by the quality in this one. Um, it should be a bit better, um, well, a bit, a fair bit better than the other one I had, because my other one broke, and that's why I didn't upload videos recently, um, due to I need to commentate in them, or it'll be really hard to understand, and I wasn't going to do that. So yeah, I've been, uh, I got a new mic, um, it's a Sony one, so it's a lot better than the other one I had. But yeah, we're going to be installing the Aether mod today, um, a lot of people have requested this, and um, yeah, so it's got really popular, um, it's a really good mod myself since I've seen a load of videos of it, so I said I'm going to do a tutorial definitely on it, how to install it. So I'll put the link to the f all the separate forums that you will need, you will need the mod itself, you'll need mod loader, you'll need audio mod, and you'll need the shock AHPI, so I'll put all their forums um, in different links. So you can download all of them, um, but if you um, if you want too many items in this, I know a load of people want too many items with the other mod since you can spawn stuff. But if you want to do legit, don't bother downloading too many items. But if you want it, um, all you have to do is just go download for the 1.7.3. Should bring you to a new link, and you'll download it. So if if you want that, you can download it. But I'm just a load of people might want that. But yeah, once you get all the four links downloaded, and uh, if you want the too many items, you can have. You should have five mods on your desktop. So if you just want the for just the either mod, no too many items. Just I'll show you how to do that. The too many items, I'll do that at the end. So guys, what you want to do? Is go down to the Windows icon and type in percent app data percent, and you want to go to the Roman folder. Inside your Roman folder, you want to back up your dot Minecraft. So you want to right click on it, and you want to go copy. You want to right click wherever you want to uh, put your backup. I'm going to put it on my desktop, so you want to paste it to your desktop. And there's my desktop, um, my backup, should I say. Um, so, yeah, once you've done that, uh, you're, begin you're ready to begin modding. So, you want to click inside your dot Minecraft. You want to go to your bin, and you want to go to your Minecraft.jer. Um, some people might be called just Minecraft. Uh, I think that is uh, some people's having issues with. So, uh, if it is, just rename to Minecraft.jer. Um, if you have any problems, leave a comment, and I'll be happily uh, to respond to you. But uh, you just want to right-click it, and you want to go open with Winner Archiver, and you can leave this uh, dot Minecraft bin open. So you can just leave it aside, and inside your dot Minecraft, I mean sorry, your Minecraft dot jar, you'll have a bunch of folders and a load of class files. So what you want to do is, you'll see a meta INF folder, and you want to right-click it, and you want to go down to Delete Files and press. And it says, are you sure you want to? And you press yes. And once you've done that, what you want to do then is you want to go to the mod loader. So we're going to start with mod loader first to bring that up to the corner. And you want to get winner. Sorry, you want to get your Minecraft.jar. And what you want to do is highlight all the class files inside mod loader and drag them into the Minecraft.jar down by the class files. And press, make sure it's on add and replace files and press OK. And you can exit out of mod loader now and you want to get audio mod. And you want to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to go back to your Minecraft.jar and you want to get your audio mod. And you want to get the two folders in the class file. And you want to drag them down with the class files and make sure it's on add and replace files. And you want to press OK. And you want to go into the shock AHPI or zip or file zip. And what you want to do then is you want to click inside your bin. And you want to go back inside your Minecraft.jar. And what you want to do is highlight all the class files down at the very bottom. And once they're all highlighted, just check again. And once they're all highlighted, you want to drag them down with the class files. Make sure it's on add and replace files. And that is it. And you're done with that. And you want to go into your either mod now. So you want to click on that. And inside here, you'll have a jar folder and the resources. You want to click inside the jar. And you want to go inside your Minecraft.jar. What you want to do is bring the either over to the side and you want to highlight the two folders and all the class files down to the very bottom. And what you want to do is check if all of them are highlighted. So go up to the very top and once they are, you want to drag them in down with the class files. Make sure it'll start extracting. Make sure it's on add and replace files. Press OK. Start extracting for a little tiny bit and then you can exit it out of that. Um, Actually, you just want to click inside the dot dot at the top, so it'll bring you back to the beginning with the resources. 
So we're gonna go and click inside there. We're gonna leave it like that for the minute. And you can leave your Minecraft.jar open if you want the too many items. If you want too many items, leave that open. But if you don't, just I'm just gonna show you how to install the Aether mod right now, and then we'll go back to the too many items after. So, like I said, you said you'll leave the dot Minecraft bin open if you didn't leave it open, and just go back and type in percent app data percent, and it should bring you to your dot Minecraft. Um, so you just want to press the back arrow. Oops, again. So it should bring you into your bin. So I'm inside my dot Minecraft now, and you want to click inside your resources. And you could have at least another four folders in here, like sound and other ones. I'm not sure, um, but I just created a brand new Minecraft uh, dot Minecraft folder, so that's the reason why they haven't came in yet because I haven't played the game. So you want to just click inside the resources, and you should have a folder called the mod, and you want to drag that in and start extracting, and that is it. So you've installed the Aether mod, guys. Um, you can exit out the dot my you can exit out the resources dot Minecraft. So you can exit out that. But if you want the too many items, um, like I said, leave the Minecraft.jar open. And what you want to do is you want to get the too many items. So you want to open the too many items, and you want to drag it up to the corner. And you want to get your Minecraft.jar. And you want to highlight all the class files and drag them down with the class files. It's on. Uh, make sure it's on add and replace files. Press OK. So that is it, guys. That is it done. So you just want to open up Minecraft and play and uh, enjoy the mod guys, it is really cool. Um, it would be one of my favourite mods now, it's a lot of things to it, um, so you can have fun with it. Um, I'm not sure, there's probably a few steps on how to survive in it, because um, it is really hard, but the too many items, that just gets you see what is in it. But these are like the materials here that you can see. Um, but I just found out a few tricks uh, while I was playing, so it's going to create a new world. And a yellow writing should pop up at the bottom, and if that did, it should have installed right. But just I'm just going to go into the game and show you how to make, um, to show that two many items have installed, and show you how to make a portal to the either. Um, but I'm not, that's all I'm going to do, guys, because, okay, so let's save chunks, tame it. Alright, I'm going to lower my render distance down. Um, so I'm going to put that down a bit. Okay, and I'm just gonna open my infantry. As you can see, too many item, too many items, and the either mod has worked. So I'm just gonna make um, I'm just gonna make a thing really quick. Um, so you need what you need is you need glowstone. I'm just gonna get a shovel. You need glowstone, and you need a bucket of water. So I'm gonna get a bit of glowstone now. Um, if I can find it, there's glowstone. Um, and you need water. So you need a bucket of water. Um. So yeah, just, I'll show you now if I can find a bucket. Um, I am obviously so blind. There we go. I'll get a bucket of water. So what you want to do is make like a portal, um, like a normal portal. Okay, this is a bit laggy, guys. Excuse me. Um, but yeah. Okay, it's been really laggy. So I can hope you can deal with this. So what you want to do is you might have four in the bottom. And you want to go one, two, three, four. And what you want to do then is you want to go one, two. Okay, got, uh, hold on. I'm gonna bring this across the top. So it's 40 blocks you need. Four by the top. Okay, I'm guessing there's a spawner under me. But four, four from the top and five down. And you want to put the water on it. And there you got the aether, guys. So I'm just gonna go into that. So if you can hear me, <laughs> okay, that's a bit loud. Uh, so yeah, like I was saying, guys, this uh, how you get into the Aether. I hope this uh, tutorial helped. If it did, give it a like. Uh, it helps, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. All right, uh, peace.